Oh, there he goes. That's pretty cool. The principal behind these little science projects at the Training Academy for Maryland's Howard County Department of Fire and Rescue is something very basic. We always learn it was a one-way street. It's all about letting stuff out, letting stuff out. We paid no attention to what we're letting in. In fact, these fire service veterans learned it as brand new recruits, the fire triangle. So that was a uh, good demonstration of how many of the products in our homes are fuel rich. They burn fuel rich into that excess smoke, that excess fuel in the smoke that's a challenge for firefighters. You want to go ahead and put that out? But why did the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation and UL invite fire service leaders and instructors from all over the country to review elementary fire science? People weren't applying the fire triangle on the fire ground. Dan Madrakowski and Steve Kerber from UL have spent decades building on this simple understanding of fire to improve safety for the public and firefighters. For 15 years, me personally, Dan, 30 years, we've been studying fire, working with the fire service, and it's a matter of getting it out of the slides, out of the lab. And we'll get some uh, heavy smoke coming out the top of it. Into the hands of the people that can use it and run with it to get the science to the street. The uh, title of the class is called Fire Dynamics Boot Camp. They're not just burning candles. They're burning structures. And how do you know whether the outcome was the best it could have been? And they're spending time in the classroom. All of this to get an understanding of fire dynamics straight from the researchers who have pioneered this work. And the idea is to really begin to understand fire dynamics in such a way that uh, perhaps it had never been understood before or never explained in the way that it's being explained. Uh, hence the kind of the boot camp. It's intensive. It's going to be uh, three days of hard work for the 48 people that are here from across the country. Our challenge as an organization is how do we integrate that research into our training and our operations. So the exciting thing about this class is that it's really focused on the instructors and how we can give the instructors tools to take back to their organizations and integrate into training and operations. The two firefighters on the stairwell were now coming down the hallway, yelling and screaming. Fire was blowing up the stairs. Um, I had opened two windows um, in that back master bedroom, so it was barreling down on us. Battalion Chief Jeff Helvin from Sacramento, California, shared an extremely close call from almost a decade ago when he was a captain. And that's the third firefighter coming down the ladder after he bailed out. Helvin and his crew were trapped in what he described as an overventilated fire in a newer home. I didn't know where the fire was, why it was blown up. I think when you look at the research they've done uh, in the newer type homes when it comes to uh, flow path, uh, the high synthetics, the rapid rate of fire spread and flashover, and that uh, personifies the incident I was involved with. We are going to evacuate this building and conduct a bar. We're not really teaching people strategies here, uh, but we are trying to infuse the science that influences the strategies. We're not going to tell the fire service how to fight fires. We're going to give them the information they need to apply the fire dynamics concepts to their local environment with what they see, their resources, their staffing, their equipment, so that they can get the best outcome possible. We want to give you options to fight your fire. We want to help you do better so that it's you don't just have the only option of we're running in the front door every time. If you do a size up and you see that there's a better way to make an attack, you have the information now that it's okay to put water in the window using a straight stream at a steep angle, right? And you're not, don't have to worry about being uh, berated or, or the chief saying, what are you doing? Where did you get that idea from? We're trying to have this idea uh, as common knowledge in the fire service. If we can have a foundation of fire dynamics, then everyone will be gaining better experience as they go to fires. I want to confirm that we have engine 15 crew out of the building. We'll all learn from each other and we'll have a better profession.